Today at Neighborhood Chefs, we're here with Dukta. Hi, how are you? I'm um, uh, good, thank you. How about you? I'm great. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm um, original from Thailand, and I grew up with a large family who have uh, 11 children together. Oh, wow. My mom is just a great cook, and she cooks for everyone every mm -hmm. day. After she passed away, I'm so hungry with her food. <laughs> and I learned how to cook when I live in America and Japan mm -hmm. by calling my brother every other day how to cook this, how to cook that. Uh -huh. Because he's one the only one who learned how to cook for my mom. Oh, okay. yeah. And after that I have a passion about cooking. Because it's cooking is just for me it's like art. Mm -hmm. Because how you create the dish to make people happy when they sit together and enjoy your food. In that moment I think that is a, a passion that I would like to see every time when I cook. That's beautiful. So what are you making for us today? Today I'm going to make one of our Thai, um, ethnic Thai food. Instead of a white meat, uh, white fish, today I use a salmon filet. Okay. It's going to call a uh, homo. That's the Thai language. Say it again. Ha mo. Ha mo. Okay. Ha is wrapping or hiding mm -hmm. together. Okay. And then uh, we use fish today. We can use chicken or other meat that you like, but fish is better. Okay. Yeah, I recommend the fish. Um, today is in this type of this, I, for easy, you can call steamed salmon with red curry mm -hmm. and coconut milk. Sounds good. You might be wondering, in Thai cuisine, we use a lot of coconut milk mm -hmm. instead of dairy. Oh, why is that? Um, we have that type of uh, uh, coconut tree everywhere. And we always believe that coconut milk, coconut water is helping your cleansing for your body. Mm -hmm. And now become, you can see so many advertising about coconut water. It's more trendy now. Uh -huh. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> yeah. And the coconut milk is really light. For people who logic in daily, you can substitute from daily to use coconut milk. That's a one good thing. Yeah, that works for me. I'm lactose intolerant. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we use coconut milk in all kinds of uh, food. Uh, the food, the dessert, mm -hmm. and also even though you just drink straight, it's good for your skin. And the main key of the Thai food, most of the Thai food we use red curry, green curry. Oh. And all the curry paste is all Thai of um, herb. We use fresh herb, such as in this we have maybe 10 or 12 kinds oh, of herb wow. in it together, ground it together. The red curry is made from uh, dry red chili. Mm. And then you have lemon, lemon glass, galanga, cafe lamb leaf. Don't worry about flavor. that. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. All yeah, good all good. It's healthy. It's fresh. Yeah, and most people misunderstand think Thai food have to be hot and spicy. No, actually, it's the way you cook. If you mm. want spicy, you add more chili in there. If okay. you like my, just put it a little bit. How less. do you like it? Uh, I think I am media. I'm not a super spicy person. <laughs> How about you? Uh, between both, I'll say. Okay. It. And another ingredient is so important in Thai cuisine: fish sauce. Mm. We don't use salt that much because fish sauce is already salty. Oh. This sauce is made from fish. Most of it's uh, uh, like a small, tiny fish, mm -hmm. and then they added the salt in there and marinated it. Mm. Just about a year. The best one is year to year. It, oh wow. The expensive fish salt is the same price, maybe the good wine. <laughs> yeah, the same type mm -hmm. of thing. Oh, okay. Okay, and then we use the vegetable. Any kind of vegetable that you love. Some some vegetable is firm like carrot and cabbage. Mm -hmm. And I would like to have green is uh, spinach. spinach. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, red chili for garnish and also cilantro. Mm -hmm. And you can use cornstarch to uh, do a topping to make it kind of milky. Oh, okay. That's is pretty much all the ingredients we use. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing is, today I'm going to use banana leaf instead of uh, wrapping fry or uh, some plastic. Mm -hmm. This is good for environment. Oh, okay. And it's nice for presentation. The two ways you can do that banana 
bowl. Mm -hmm. This round one, you can cut the round side of your banana leaf. Mm -hmm. And then you use both. Put it on opposite. Face out. Mm -hmm. Right? And use a tiny, tiny of, uh, you cut tiny of toothpicks. Okay. Or oh, if you don't want, don't want to go through with that, you can use a uh, staple. But I think this is safer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just uh, wrap it, uh -huh. roll it one side. You can make it five corner or four to five corner. Okay. Then two. Also, it, um, for Thai cuisine, we use a lot of banana leaf for wrapping all the food and can preserve the food outside the refrigerator. And it again, is, you can eat that? Uh, no, no, you, can no, eat that? you oh. cannot use that. Banana, okay. banana tree is very economic plant because you can use the you know, banana fruit, or the fruit, the, the leaf, mm -hmm. and also the, the tree itself. They have a lot of fiber and uh, protein for animals. Oh, okay. Four, five. Oh, that is so cute. Mm -hmm. And we have another style after when I cooking the, steaming the, the vegetable. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to show you the a different way how to put that together. And also this one is depending on how big or small size you want. It's depending on you. We have today cabbage, carrot, and uh, spinach. Any type of green you like, you can have, use kale or collard green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we boil or steaming this for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Don't overcook because we're going to steam it with the salmon together. The reason we we have to cook it first because all this vegetable is contain a lot of water in the itself. Right. If you are not cooked before, when you steam with the salmon, your salmon gonna turn kind of mushy because oh. all the water gonna come out from the vegetable. Ah, okay. Cook that one until it's getting soft, and then we add spinach. In the meanwhile, we in the steam pot. We just start to boil the water. And spin it. And rinse off with cold water. So you can see the color. We have green and orange and white. Mm -hmm. I love to cook with the color. It's always mixed with all different types of vegetable. Mm -hmm. This is a presentation, especially when you are, uh, have a meal for kids. They want to see oh, yeah. what the they different color on together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a trick. Yeah, it's true to eating their vegetables. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's true. Okay, <laughs> after we rinse, we squeeze the water out. We just want, want to peel water. Uh, only watchable in there. Is this the first time for you to have Thai dish? Yes, actually. Well, you used to see it made, yes. <laughs> it's become very popular. Mm -hmm. And uh, Thai food is really easy to cook when you have the right ingredient. It's too hot. Spice and these are delicious. And um, a lot of people think Thai food is really, really hot. I don't complain. I like it. <laughs> we have no non-spicy food. <laughs> also, next we're waiting for that vegetable kudal. We're gonna mix the salmon. Remember, is you can use any type of fish. Mm -hmm. Not just only uh, salmon. You can have a uh, sea battle. Uh, you can have a snapple, and I like the salmon because it's easier. Okay, this is about two tablespoon. I'm gonna use about one one and a half. Okay. But some people who doesn't want to uh, eat spicy, you just cut.
cut it off the, mm -hmm. the, the curly paste. The curly paste is the key. Mm, I can smell it from here. Yeah, Delicious. and as the fish salt. Be careful, some fish sauce, sometimes recipe call for one or two tablespoons, mm -hmm. but different brand is different salty, different yeah. taste. You have to add a little bit first. One or two egg. The egg is make the this dish is uh, firmer. Mm. Okay. And then you add about half cup of uh, coconut milk first. Mm -hmm. Just try to get out from the top mm. of the coconut milk because most of coconut milk from the can, the bottom part is the water. Mm -hmm. And then the top part is more milk and on the top. Mm -hmm. This is part that you keep mixing together until the coconut milk curry and fish sauce is mixed well to blending together as you can get the really kind of feel like a custard. Mm, okay. It smells pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> and the taste is going to be good too. <laughs> I bet. The longer you make it, the better because all the taste of coconut milk and uh, curry paste is mixed as well. It's make bring out more flavor. Mm. This one is pretty much done. You can see the color change. Now we're gonna get the vegetable. Squeeze the vegetable out from the water. Oops, sorry. What does it feel like? Is it firm or is it? Oh, it's still softer. Feel softer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because uh, remember, we're going to steam it again. We don't want it too mushy. Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit in the bottom. Just mix all together, three of these. <laughs> it really is like art. It's just like a, going to be look like a, um, what? Salmon cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so good. And the next idea, you're wrapping by, this is a flat. Okay. Yeah. It's about uh, 10 inches. Mm -hmm. Also, you use both five because you want to make it strong. Mm -hmm. The bottom part with vegetable. And then, oh, see, I didn't forgot. Squeeze. We're squeezing. <laughs> it looks like a fun meal. You can get kids involved. Yeah. Squeeze out the vegetables. Yeah. And uh, it's easy to make. Plus, when you bought the <clears throat> banana leaf, you can get it in an Asian market. It formed a portion de uh, department. Mm. Person section, and uh, you can use this. And if you have leftover, put it back in the uh, put it back in the freezer. Oh, okay. See, so you wrap on the side mm -hmm. and throw it on the boss end. Oh, look at that! <laughs> this is another way. Okay. It's easy to carry too. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, it's kind of. Very good way that when you transport this to your party mm -hmm. and you pin this on the side mm -hmm. with the banana, uh, with bamboo, the yeah, toothpick, oh. yeah. And on this one, on this cupcake, build up the top. We steam this about uh, between 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how big of the portion. Mm -hmm. The big portion is take longer. Oh, okay. That 
is so cute. It's like and a little hand sized yes. tree. <laughs> Kids love it because they can carry that this and they have fun with uh, opening this. Mm. Oh yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like fun. You fill, fill it up like a um, three quarter mm -hmm. because uh, we have egg in 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 the parts of ingredient. The egg gonna make all the ingredient puffing it's up. It's gonna rise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Smells really good. I can smell the curry from here. <laughs> And this creation here is beautiful. Um, that's a part of uh, my uh, uh, country cuisine. Thailand, we have the do fruit and vegetable carving. It's a part of a food presentation. Oh wow! It's only can you believe only two countries in the world we do it: China oh. and Thailand. Wow! And Japan has become more um, learn and try to do the same thing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Because uh, in um, our cuisine, we always believe food is art. Mm -hmm. When you are sit and eating, enjoy the taste of food. Mm -hmm. Also, your eye have to enjoy the art allow you on the dining table. That's gorgeous. You almost don't want to eat it though. <laughs> basically, because <laughs> it looks so beautiful. Basically, you can ever uh, eatable. The whole thing is edible. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, and now we're going to steam in the steamer. For this steamer, since we just add the water, it's not super hot, but we can leave it a little bit longer. So is this like an, it's like an appetizer then, right? Um, can be the appetizer or main course, because oh, if it's main course, normally they eat with rice mm -hmm. or pasta. Okay. And I'm going to have uh, some cloth mm -hmm. put on top of this, because we don't want this, uh, the water, the moisture, go up to the metal, mm -hmm. and then drip it down to the one that has an open oh. surface. about 15 minutes. Okay. Next thing we're gonna make the, the topping, creamy topping. Okay. Let's have a little bit of coconut milk okay. and some like a teaspoon of cornstarch. Cornstarch, okay. Mm -hmm. Mix it well together. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put on top of the salmon. Is when it's like a um, almost cooked. Mm -hmm. Oh, the color changed. Can you add it in a little bit? Mm -hmm. This one is uh, kind of also another part of presentation. We just would like to look it's creamy. Mm -hmm. The one is in wrapping. I'm not gonna open that. It's gonna be hot. From that part, you get ready with. You can use red hot chili, any type of chili. It's not gonna make the your salmon more spicier. Okay. Presentation again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cilantro. I love cilantro. Yeah. Now we gonna look at our. Salmon, turn off, bring it up to your plate. That looks really good. Look how pretty that is. I love this. That is you just put it some bell pepper, mm -hmm. any red and green. See how color come out? Nice. Oh, wow. It's easy, isn't it? That's not bad at when all. When you have the right ingredient, you can make the dishes very easy. Yeah, it's relatively quick. Yeah. You just pep for 
like a 15 minutes and then cook for another 15 to 20 minutes. And now it's time to okay. tasting. I hope you all like it. I'm sure I will. <laughs> Shall we try? Yes. We're okay. excited with you. Yeah, I hope you like it. Be careful, it's still hot. It's the temperature is hot and also I hope the the, the taste is I'm good, sure uh, perfect good. hot it for you. I'm sure it is. I said it's good. Mm. Do you like oh it? Oh my god. It is very good. All the seasoning came together beautifully. Yeah. That is delicious. Well, I think I'm going to take another bite. <laughs> I, I don't want I think I will too. I want to try one of those leaves. Yeah, okay. just go ahead. It, actually, when they eat mm. the spicy, that's a good thing you you said that because the reason we do vegetable carving mm. because the Thai food is spicy, mm. and then we eat the salad. So that's just it out yeah. nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just, try. Which one should I have? Mm. Mm. This red one's calling me. Can I try this one? Yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. Did right. Mm. Very fresh and crunchy. It you just look so that. pretty. Like <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy it. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Thank you.